Hello there, and welcome back to Build on the Boys. We now have issue 109 of Hashtag's Building These Dolls House. Uh, in this one, we will be finishing hmm, the border frame, which means we're island bolts. Yay. Um, but we're also going to be laying the floor. And so we've got the uh, the base level that's going to go on, then we've got the pretty flooring with kind of the crazy paving pattern that's going to go on top of there as well. So by the time we've done this one, it should be looking significantly different. Um, we do have some pretty bits for this one as well. So we have uh, a portrait for the wall of the frozen room. We're going to have to make that. So it's basically a sticker that lays over. But the other thing I've got is the last two of the premium figures. So we'll get this one open. We'll take a look. Then we'll get this, uh, we'll get this border done. So here are Anna and Elsa. Now, uh, the Elsa looks different to how she was originally pictured. So the Elsa originally had a kind of hand out in her, you know, more aggressive stance but i like these i think these are nice um they're exactly what they they should be i mean you got anna they're looking very demure and also with the the very iconic dress on um looking lovely so they're nice i mean they just go with the frozen room i didn't like the fact of just having olaf in the frozen room so i'm glad we went premium but we've got all the premium figures now and um, we've got all of the um the basic figures as well so that's all the ones we're going to be getting because naturally they're not offering the extension in the UK, so we won't be having those additional figures. Does that bother me? Yeah, I'm a completist, so it's gonna always gonna drive me nuts, but it's what it is. It's what it is, you know, I can, I can make my peace with it. But um, we've got a lovely selections. We've got like 22 figures for the house, so that's plenty. Um, but they're nice. Uh, we're gonna build the, the portrait next. So I'll get that over and we'll get that done. So it's not just the uh, the portrait. We also get this little jug as well, which I would assume is for the frozen room. It's got to be. Let's have a look what it says. Yeah. <laughs> so that's for the frozen room. Tiny little jug, but that's what we get. Um, and this is our uh, our portrait here. So we have this sticker, which is of the uh, the frozen castle. That's nice. That's really nice. Um, but what we're going to do is going to take our picture frame now because it shouldn't really matter which way up this goes, but my OCD will scream at me if I don't get the Disney thing up the right way. So that's going to go that way around. And then this has got little notches taken out of it. So we're going to go in like that. So we're going to peel it off like we do with the wallpaper and we're going to fit this to the frame. So let's get that done. They look nice. I mean, I'm not. I've not put any of the the permanent fixtures on the walls yet. So there's quite a lot of things we need to glue to the walls. Um, I haven't done any of that yet. Um, I will though. But I'm waiting until the house is built. So in my last issue that I do on the channel, the house will not be decorated. I will do further issues where we decorate the house, and I can kind of show you how I do each room and what goes where and what we're adding and what we're putting where and how we're doing it. Oh yeah, that's that one done. It's nice, right? They look pretty on the wall. Um, when am I put it on the wall? I'm gonna pop it in the frozen room for now. Keep you know, that safe because it's not gonna be that long until we need it. Um, but now let's get this built. Okay, so taking our remaining A2 wall here, we are going to take this piece here, this one, and it's going to sit over there like so. So that's how you want it. So that's how you look it on either end. It's going to go over there and let's all and bloody screw this in. I will not miss these, but we've only got three of these to do because the one that goes on the drawer, bizarrely, the one that you're going to pull on more than any other, it's just had on with glue. It's weird, right? But that's how they chose to do it. So. We are but their humble servants. We will obey. There we go. Put this one in. Okay, so that one done. Uh, next one we're going to use is A1, which is this one here. And for this one, we are going to use this wall here. So this is one that's got a notch at that end and at that end. And you can see from this one, this has got notches there and a notch there. So this will be the middle piece. 
So this is gonna sit over there like so. Same again. Let's get these screwed in. Uh, I'm hoping that the tip I've given you about tightening these up completely then loosening them to fit has helped you. Because uh, it certainly helped me. It made life a lot easier because honestly, trying to turn those screws in those holes was really difficult. Now this shouldn't be so bad because we're dealing with wide open spaces. So turning these ones shouldn't be anywhere near as bad as it was doing the back and the sides because that was that was a bloody nightmare putting those in. The back particularly. The, I mean there was just no room to get the to get the Allen key in, let alone turn the bloody thing. So that was a, that was a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, so I hope that's this has brought you some uh some respite that's made things a little easier. Starting tip for me. Okay, so that's that one done. That's the side, and then we're gonna bring over the one that's got A4 on it, and we're using our last remaining piece here. So it's gotta be this one, uh, and it is going on this way. Let's get this one put in. Now you should have one Allen bolt left over at the end of this. That's okay, that's a spare. So don't, don't panic if you think, oh, God, this should have gone somewhere. No, you got a spare, um, just in case you need it. Or, like me, it gives you something, you can have the relief of taking this outside and throwing it down to the bottom of the garden in anger because of how much you hate Allen bolts. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, so that's that one in. And then Allen bolt number six in this pack. And the last one we're doing, he goes into here like so. Right, so that's that done. Okay, so we're gonna take the first one that we did, which is this one here, for your reference. Uh, we are gonna glue it, so we're gonna put some glue along here, all along here, and then this is going to sit at the front of the house, and we're gonna slot it in. So let's get that done. So we've added that one in, just got some glue on there. Um, and it is much easier to um, to hold these ones on because there's this space to turn the, um, the things. You don't have to worry about Tightening these up, you don't. You can have these quite loose because it's quite easy to get in and you can get behind them, simple. Uh, so this is the one that's going on next. Uh, so this is the middle one, that's the second one we did. So that's the one that's got openings on either end of it. We're gonna glue that one up, get that installed. So the second one in goes in the middle, nice and simple. And again, the screws, you've got so much space to tighten these up, it's not a problem. Uh, we've got our last one that's gonna go into here. And that is the one that looks like that. So let's get that done. So that's the third one in. So that's how we're now looking across there. Lovely stuff. And I've taken the poo drawer out because we are going to take this final one. Uh, we're going to glue it. It's going to touch to the outside there. So it's going to slot in nicely. Um, and then we're done with the border, thankfully. Now we can move on to the actual floor. And so let's get this glued in. And we're now looking with that on. Lovely stuff. So we're all boarded up. Beautiful. Right, now we can move on to the flooring. Let's so say we have our first one in. So this is where this goes. Now, I've pulled the wires through. They say to suck them all in. You're just going to end up fishing them out. I've pulled them through so they're there. This one's in and this one's down. Secured in nicely. So it's against the support beams not going anywhere. Now we're going to glue the support beams across the back. And we're going to go all the way along the back of this, putting the next strips in. We have the first strip in. Nice and simple. Uh, snug fit, which is good. Snug I want. So that's that one all the way down. We've glued all the way along here. So this is the one that's going in next. So you can see what that's going to join on. Pop that in, we give that wiggle about, get that to sit in place. So that's that one in, then finally we've got this little one here. It's going to slip in at the end, and then that'll be done. Let's get it finished. Okay, that's all of those in. Looks so much better already. Uh, next thing we're going to do is taking our baseboard. So this one here is going to slot into here. It is going to take a wiggle and a squeeze to get all these in place, but that's what it takes, that's what it takes. And then we're going to take these pieces, they're going to attach and they're going to slot along here like so. So I'm going to get those glued up and get those installed. We have our first ornate kind of paving on, it's looking lovely. 
Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Looking good. So much better than it was. We're losing that raw wood now, so you can see kind of... That's beautiful, right? Let's move on. Just installed this one, where the drawer is. Got some glue seepage there, but not worried, it's clear dry, so that's good. We'll create an extra bond. Um, it's looking good. It's looking, it's looking nice, it's looking really nice. Um, it's nice to see this starting to come together now, and I think the floor's the last kind of piece of the puzzle. But it's looking beautiful. We'll move around to the front of the house now. It's simple enough, this is just gluing the beams and placing the uh, the plate down. That one in, nice and simple. Goes in lovely. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'll put this one in next, so we're gonna have one in here. And then we're nearly done. It's looking, it's looking nice. Look at that, now it's time to look calm. So there we go, that's that next one on. It's looking stunning, this, looking really nice. We've got one last one to go on, so we're gonna glue these beams up here, and then this one's going to fit in there. And by the law of sod, um, that's going to take a bit of a bit of a squeeze, bit of a knock to get in because it's the last one. So it'll all lock in place and look like that. Let's get that glued up. Let's get it done. That is how we're now looking. <gasps> look at that. So we're um, we're getting there. We're getting there. We are. <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. It's looking beautiful, right? We're getting there. <laughs> Sub a chat. So that is 109 complete and it's looking beautiful. I mean, it's that makes such an impact. Now having this base there makes such a massive, massive impact. And uh, it's looking beautiful. It's looking really nice. I'm very happy with this stupid smile on my face. I think it looks gorgeous. Uh, I believe in the next one, we are doing the electrics. So we will have working lights. Um, by the time we do the next one. So it's it's really, we're really in the home straight now. Uh, we got 11 more to do. We will get those done. Uh, if you are kind of eagerly waiting for these to come through, like I said, having to edit and upload all of these is taking its time. So then by the time you see this one, I've probably finished, but it's, it's what it is. They will keep coming throughout the night and throughout Saturday as well. So uh, stick around because they will keep popping up, some more rapidly than others, but that's what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's we're in the home straight. Um, that's all from me. I'll be back very soon with issue one hundred and ten. Um, in a world you may have anything at all, just be nice. If you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you very very soon as we near the end of the Disney Dolls House. Take care, and I'll see you then.